Welcome back. Well, it's arguably one of the best musicals of the last 20 years, and it's here in Milwaukee right now. And I'm joined by Rick, one of the cast members of Skylight Music Theater's Hairspray. Mm. Oh, I love it. It's going to be so good, yes? Yes. And yeah. it is good. Um, in my personal opinion, I'm a little biased, but <laughs> I would say yes, it probably is one of the best shows that anyone will ever see, ever. Okay, so talk about... <laughs> If someone hasn't seen it mm -hmm. yet, and there are folks in the newsroom that were like, oh, this is my chance to be able to get to watch it for the first time. What do you expect? Um, a lot of music, um, a lot of dancing. The show itself, it's about a, a plus-size teen, Tracy Turnblad, mm -hmm. whose uh, only dream is to be on the Corny Collins Show, which is kind of a music and dancing program, kind of like American Bandstand. Mm -hmm. And on her journey to get on that show, she faces, faces some discrimination uh, based on her size. Uh -huh. And as she goes further in that journey, she encounters uh, discrimination, um, which was pretty prevalent in the early 60s, uh, the discrimination of people of color. Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, it's a lot about overcoming all those things and people just getting together and dancing. And this is not a new musical by any means, but the messaging is still so relevant today. Unfortunately so. That's something our artistic director, uh, Ray Jivoff, spoke to us where um, giving us the kind of opening day speech about the show we're going to be doing. And it's fun and it's a little bawdy. It's based on the John Waters movie, mm -hmm. so you know there's a little bawdy and naughty in yeah. there. <laughs> but there's also a message that he kind of brought up is unfortunately still relevant today. Yeah. But I think using the humor and the joy of the show to get those messages across, it you know makes it a little more palatable, but the message still comes through. And so you are an actor in this in this musical. What's the best part about being part of this production? Probably the family. Just I love Milwaukee, and um, I really enjoy doing theater here. So getting to work with the family that I've kind of developed over the years working in Milwaukee, but then we also got some really wonderful performers on loan from Chicago oh, and other nice. places, okay. and we're really welcoming here. And we love doing theater. We love Milwaukee, so yeah. we love doing it. Okay, so who do you play in Hairspray? I play five different characters. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I'm kind of the glue that holds all the show together. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I play uh, Mr. Spritzer, who owns the hairspray company Ultra Clutch, who um, is the producer of the show. Yep. Mr. Pinky, who owns the Hefty Hideaway, uh. who provides clothing for big girls. Okay. And uh, a bunch of others. So. Give me um, a little taste. I want a little, just a little, a couple bars. Uh, well. They cut my solo. I'd written an original piece, but uh, they said it wasn't necessary that we were over time. So um, I do a lot of backup singing okay. in the show, but otherwise a lot of different faces and voices. Oh, I love it. Oh, I can't wait to see you in it. It's going to be so good. Thank you so much for stopping Thank by. Thank you for having me. Ed Hairspray runs now through December 30th at Skylight Music Theater in the Third Ward.